Kubi, Van Advantu Production. Rise in the land of the living. Kembo Kembo Tata Nanzambi ya Mazulu Mpungu Tulendo so nini na nini somandla ngai morungu mwenenyaga depending on where you are i greet you no siemi betwabu bote bana bayi solele molweni abantwana abangoni morega shana shangai nakenda moyo saubona abantwana baba weto oswe mazulini Dumelang, Bolani, yes. Greeting, have, greeting, greet, greet. I have to keep greeting them because today is a special day, Banabeto. Agreed. And allow Agreed. me to introduce a king brother all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. King brother, Ayibatari, Bananzambe. Bayete, my king. Nayo. It's, 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 it's a privilege and an honor to be on your on your show, my brother. It's a privilege. The privilege is mine because I own Shaq, I own my king. So let's get right into it. How exactly. did you get into this truth? We want to know. Bring us the journey. Bring us to, to power with your journey because spirituality is an individual journey. Share your journey with us, my king. Um, well, my journey, my journey began, I would say, you know, before what everybody is calling this global awakening. My journey has started like way before that. I've always felt that, um, you know, there's 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 something important for me to do for Tatanan Zambi, for Divine Creator, so Nini Nanini, and my awakening actually came in. My my awakening actually came maybe like two years before the pandemic, I would like to say. And the awakening actually came when I actually, there was this day that I, you know, the, the concept of soul and spirit came to mind. Yeah. And I always grew up thinking that the soul and spirit were the same thing, you know. But between starting to read the scripture and I was getting certain signs, you know, from within the universe, and when I decided to go and find the meaning of the word soul, yeah, I found out that, you know, that English more or less came from Latin. And when I went and found out the, the meaning of the word soul, I found out that soul means sol in Latin. And then I found out that sol means sun. And from the time I found that out, that was around the time when the comatic knowledge was starting to, you know, flood the social media, so to say. And when I came into that knowledge, I realized that, okay, everything that I've been hearing about the comatic system and the way how everything about the comatic system was coming to me through the signs. And, you know, sometimes I might just be thinking about something and I saw something comatic on this on the TV or on my phone or someone made a, a comment in reference to that. I look at it as, as signs. And, you know, that basically began my journey. And when I started to go deeper into it, that's when I, you know, became became the way or awoken. Dayo, Dayo. And uh, the challenges you faced. Where is part exactly? Just to make sure we... Yes. So I was just saying, you know, that's, the, that's, that's how more or less my awakening came. You know, when I decided to go and find out the meaning of this word soul. Sol in, in Latin and sol means sun. You know, as, as, as I said, the whole awakening of the comatic system was actually flooding the social media. So that began my journey, so to speak. And the more that I, I went into seeking and, and trying to find this esoteric knowledge of our African system, is, be, is the more I became enlightened and I, 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 under, I started to, you know, gain knowledge of it, yeah? So that's basically 
what began my awakening. And you I'm know, still, I'm still in the process of reaching my fullness, but my eyes are open. Right. Yeah. And you see, my thing, uh, just to add on that, they they talk they, they talk of these things and they throw uh, around words like the god the god particle, the photon, and all that. Um, do you think? that perhaps when these Greek teachers were coming, they only understood according to their understanding because when you want to define light, the only source of light that is worth noticing would be the sun. Exactly. So now, um, how is the situation of the awakening in... Uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, vis-a-vis uh, -vis your family, friends, the community? Um, um, well, there's, it's a mixture of both because in a sense, I have became somewhat of a, of a black sheep, so to speak. You know, I have been labeled by many different uh, titles. You know, I'm, I'm lost or or oh, the devil has deceived me and, and these di different, uh, you know, these different phrases, you know. But um, I, I, I'm not moved. I mean, in the beginning, I was I was moved, you know, because some of the statements came from, you know, my friends and some of my really close friends who I consider blood or family, I would say, you know. But um, after, after a while, I realized that this comes with a process, you know. It comes with a process. Um, I still try to reach out to those who I could reach. I consider myself somewhat of a humanitarian, you know? Mm -hmm. I've always I've always felt this deep passion for humanity, for the world, for anyone, you know? And I'm very passionate about, about justice, if I may use that word safely, you know? And, um, okay, yeah. yeah. And, um... What is the uh, in your awakening? Because the awakening is multifaceted. Because you acknowledge him by the names he's known on the continent. Because you have had an encounter with him. Ex Bring us to this encounter. Because you did not awaken because of something you saw on YouTube. Um. My awakening, it's I, I don't know if I can find the correct words to to define to define it. Take your time, Mike. But, um, Take your time. Take your time. But this 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 awakening, you know, it's is this is this it's this intuition, this 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 voice. I don't know how, how best I could differentiate or define it, you know, but um there's a way that Tatan and Zambi he, he he speaks to you. There's a way he, he connects to you, you know, and and then it's like the spirit at the, at the point in time is like my spirit is is speaking and is telling me, okay, go this go this direction, go here, read this, read that, you know, and every time that I paid attention to this to this spirit, this voice that I'm hearing, yeah. It, it it led me down a path and it just keep opening up for me and everything was in alignment. That's how I knew that it was the divine Tatanan Zambi guiding me or, or 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 I would say calling me to to, to my purpose. You know? And, and uh, I do I do have a lot a lot more growing to do, but this this I'm I'm very confident that this is my call. My king, perhaps there's somebody watching you. They have no idea what this awakening means. And they probably think we are just two people mumbling on the internet. So in your own words, my king, perhaps we can start. How do you realize that uh, the doctrine you are taught is a lie? What, what was the breaking point for you with the Messiah and uh, the, the chosen people? Um, it was the, 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 the it was the the numerous amount of contradictions I would say number one mm -hmm. the numerous amount of contradictions and 
the the way how Tatan and Zambi has has granted me the 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 eyesight to see their their spells within their within their spelling. Mm. You know, you know the way how they how they spell their words in the English language. You know, and I was able to see the way how they how to say the way how they altered the names through time. Yeah, whether it be the name of a person or, or or a place, I was able to see how how they constructed the word to more or less change the name, but they themselves could still in the future go back and realize the name and say, okay, we you know, this name still means this particular thing or these particular people, all right? But to the masses or to the meat or to the global people, all right. It's it's in a disguise. So for me, it was just it was just that it was the intuition and the ability that Tatan and Zambi granted me for me to see the the way how they hide their knowledge in the spelling. Perhaps, again, the more that I went down into it, is the more everything led me back to Congo, to 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 Congo, to Bakongo, to to the knowledge of the Bantu, the twelve kingdoms of the Bantu, you know, and it it, it led me to to you, my brother Yakubi. So. I, I give more, more, more and more praises each day unto the great, the divine Tatan and Zambi, you know, for, for, for granting me this gift. I always believe Bantu Reeducation TV was started for Banabeto. You speak of uh, some discrepancies. Perhaps you can uh, give us just one or two examples. One or two examples that um, you can share with with those that are watching you. Yes, yes, let me see examples, you could be fine. Yeah, one or two, just share one or two for the sake of the viewer and uh, so that the viewer can see. The audio, the live is, is um, cut. Do you, um, are you there? And I guess you are right, back. I just... I'm getting back. Yes, the signal is dropped for a second. Yes, you were saying. Perhaps you can share with us some discrepancy in the spelling that you might have uncovered, one or two, through your journey. The most significant one, you know, there had to be one that um, that you could not. Really ignore. struck. The one that struck. <laughs> now. Wow, there were there's so many, but the the, the the there's so many. I mean, there's some that 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 you know they they tie. It. You know, they they both they both come in first, but I would say um, morning is morning is one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, such was as morning. Um, um, job, you know, when you're going for employment, you're going to get a job, J O B. But then there's a story of Job in the Bible, and his name is J O B. So just by that given example alone is like, how could how could the pronunciation of J O B change? when you go into the bible it still should be job you know so that was just that was just the, it's just one of many you know well, but so the discrepancy if i'm getting you right the discrepancy in the vibration is what allowed you to reverse engineer the language back to the kikongo yes exactly 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 and, and um, of course within within uh -huh, go ahead no my king finish your thought no, and 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 to even to add to that is is um everything that you said is correct, and even to add as well is even when I'm going back, some of the words that I've, I've seen, it's to me it's 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 designed to for one to self prosecute themselves. You know, I have a I'm a, I have a, a very strong recognition. I I don't like to use the word belief. But I would say recognition. I have a strong recognition that some of these words are designed for him or her to, when they utter these words in in the universe of the vibration, it's, it's designed to 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 to, su su to suppress your spirituality, yeah, and you know make you be more carnal-minded or carnal thinking, you know. And as and as I've realized, the great Tata Nanz Nanzambi has said, we are all spiritual beings having a physical experience and to commune with Tatananzambi, we use spirit to connect with the divine spirit. 
Like you know, so that was that was a lesson for me. And uh, because it is, it is quite evident the the lower animal self cannot communicate with the higher being. And um, my king, I don't know if you have scriptures around you. Um, yeah, I have a Bible close by. Uh, pick it up so we can just go through something together. Here, ready? Yeah, uh, we'll head over to where Jacob wrestles. An angel. What do you enjoy? Yes, that would be around uh, 32. Yeah, I forgot the particular verse. That would be about 32. Genesis 32. Genesis 32. All right, I'm on it. So, perhaps we can start at uh, 19, verse 19. Should I read? Yes, kindly. You know, uh, oh, most see. of our brethren read this book like it's a novel. They think that everything that is written here is a novel. So, perhaps we can just demonstrate something with, with your indulgence. My, my, my privilege. Uh, so Genesis 32, verse 19. And I continue. So he commanded the second, the third, and all who followed the Jews, saying, In this manner shall you speak to Esau when you find him. And also say, Behold, your servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goes before me, and afterward I will see his face. Perhaps he will accept me. 21. So the present went on over before him, but he himself lodged that night in the camp. And he arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed over the ford of Jaco. He took them sent them over the brook and sent over what he had. Then Jacob was left alone. A man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hips and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of his joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you, unless you bless me. So he said to him, what is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, saying, tell me your name, I pray. And he said, why is it that thou asked me about my name? And he, and he blessed him, himself there. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. My king, uh, he calls the place of the name Pineal. Pineal. The pineal gland. And where, where does the angel touch him? At the socket of his hip, the base of the spine. So all this spirituality you see with all these other races is trying to replicate the spirituality of moon at that point he becomes enlightened he has wrestled with god and man his his higher self his higher human self the spirit in him has wrestled with the lower animal self and he has ascended and he has received his blessing You see, that is the esoteric code in this book that most of our people fail to understand. 
so true, so true, so true, so true. But you see, uh, most of our people will want to read this book like a novel. And just because David David understood this, I will refer you to Psalm 78. Do give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ear to the sayings of my mouth. In a proverbial saying, I will open my mouth. I will cause riddles of long ago to bubble forth. The psalmist was writing this not for the generation that was there but for the generation to come yes yes so my king a word of encouragement to anyone that is uh, watching you that you might have Listening. So the, the signal keeps dropping, but I'm here. Yes, a word of encouragement for anyone watching new and new to this awakening. Um, a word of encouragement, I would say, learning never learning never stops, and we tend to learn, and at some point in our life we unlearn and we relearn. Yeah. And when it comes to the knowledge that has been placed in this book that contains scriptures of truth, this is how I like to phrase it. In this particular book, there's scriptures of truth. And as the book says it clearly, it says, search the scriptures, search for the scriptures with the spirit of truth. Yeah, and I believe when one can commune with Tatan and Zambi, on, on the level, in the, from, an, from an, a spiritual aspect, from a spiritual point of view, not so much as leaning on the carnal thinking or the intellectual mind, yeah? One will be able to see the spirit of truth. And as is rightfully said, those who ask, they receive. Those who seek, find. Those who knock, the door shall be open. He that, he that seek it, find it, you know? So that's a that's one of one of a that's a particular scripture that um, I found it to be very, very, very important. It's powerful, you know, and it, it bears an essence of, of truth, you know. Because when you do ask for something, you shall, you shall receive. And as we all grew up here, when you're asking for something, make sure you know what you're asking for. <laughs> I, you know, so because sometimes they ask and the answer they receive, it is if it is not within their understanding they reject it then they never get exactly. to understand what the gifts of the father come from the tata na nzambi ya mazulu mpungu tulendo so nini na nini somandla ngai murungu mwene nyara is not the author of confusion so if you're getting confused then who is the author i would say the scribes the men that sit in the seat of moses <laughs> And you see, this is just an example of what is going on. A brother who has come into this awakening from Trinidad and Tobago, led on his own path by the Spirit of the Most High. Because he said, in those days, I will pour out my Spirit to your sons and daughters, and they will prophesy. These are things that are within us. But because our our people have been taught, or what I like to call fear-based mind programming, and that is why you will find the commandments instill fear. But what they practice in Kemet, the laws of Maat, it's more of a distinction. 
There's a distinction. These are negative affirmations. We speak of affirmations. When you affirm it, it sticks to your mind. But if you tell a human being not to do something, they are more prone to do it. To do it exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's basic exactly. human psychology. Exactly. On this channel, we do not judge, but we only see the spirit of the Father. Whatever Christianity has believed to, 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 uh, has made our people to think is the spirit of the Father. The Father uses whomever he chooses. And that is why we say, Kembo, Kembo, Tata Nanzambi, Yamazuru, Mpungu Tulendo, So Nini Nanini, So Mandla. And we keep asking you, Ungubani, who are you? Know thyself. Today was a special day, spiritually. We thank all those that have sent in their testimony. It is a word of encouragement. It is very encouraging for brothers as yourself when we connect and we have the same understanding. It shows that we are one, the principle of Ubuntu. I am because you are, because we are, because the Father, as the Father is one, the same spirit that gives you life is the same spirit that gives others life. Let those with understanding hear this. For the kingdom of Yamazulu is in you, and he who knows himself finds it. True. True. Let us, well come, out of, let us come out of this neo-Christian mentality, this church mentality. You cannot claim Bantu heritage and you know nothing about the Bantu culture. And when you're taught about the culture, you pretend to know you know about the culture. This teaching is meant to humble us, Vanaveto. My king, last remarks before we sign off. Uh, my only remarks are, is, I mean, for me, it's, it's a journey. It's, it's an awakening for me. I'm, I still have much more growing to do. I still have much more knowledge. And Let's go. Yeah, so um, for me, what I would say, my closing remarks is that, you know, um, I give thanks again for the great divine creator, the divine one, Tatananzami, Yamazolo, Sonini Nanini, you know, for, for my awakening. And I still have much, much, much more to, to, to absorb, much more to learn, unlearn, and relearn. And there was a saying I, I, I grew up hearing from my grandmother. She says that knowledge is vast. Always embrace it. Knowledge is infinite. So there's never no end to knowledge. So you always attain knowledge in its fullness, but you apply prudency. You know, so there's that those things from my from my grandmother has, has resonated between my childhood to my adulthood. And yeah, I, I still have a lot more growing and a lot more knowledge and correction to to attain. But I give thanks for this for this journey I'm on. I give thanks for the for my gifts. And yeah, it's time for us to to liberate our people and show them the the true way, the true and divine way that we all should should live and resonate. And you know, let us let us eradicate chaos that has been plagiarizing us for centuries. You know, it's time. And you see, like, my king, you share a culture or a history amongst your people that most don't even realize they came with it from the land, like the, the hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or what they would call a Nazarite. Yes, yes, yes. You know, living idol because they understood there they were those that were dedicated to the temple. That's a fact, that's a fact. And when the Mundele came, they scattered them. We have a lot of our priests in the Caribbean. I totally agree. I was even given a, I was even given a story of, of the Nazarene. This, this says, because I was digging up for the records, but it says, even in, let's give an example, even in Nigeria, 
there's some that are born with, with, with dreadlocks or, or RAS, however you want to define it. But there are some that are born with these things. And when they are born, they're not supposed to, to cut the hair, you know, because this can, you know, send the child off, off course. And so the, 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 the knowledge of the Nazarene has, is, is, has, has been there. It's there. Um, it may be, be known by different names to, within different cultures. I'm not sure what, what name is it in, to the Kikongo people or, Bak, or Bakongo or Congo people, but, but the Nazarene is one that is, uh, is very well known to the Yoruba people, the people of Nigeria, but he's this, this knowledge. So it was, I mean, it was amazing for me to, to stumble across this, yeah? And uh, it will surprise you to tell you that the, the Mau Mau warriors who are able to hold off the Mundele for seven years in the mountains, do not be fooled. They never, they never surrendered. They just chose to come into a settlement. Don't the same dreadlocks. They would not shave them off. And these were people that fought a spiritual war more than it was a physical war, my king. As I'm talking about knowledge is vast, you know, we have to, we have to embrace it. And it's, for me, but the more I go down and, and, and I learn my African, my African history, my African knowledge, is the more that I'm, 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 I'm amazed at the same time and I'm shocked at the same time because growing up we never learned these things in our in our school syllabus. You know, we learned the basic Christopher Columbus and you know little little jits and jets when it comes to history or or slavery, but this deep hidden knowledge that you know that has been hidden. From from me specifically, and of course, those on a larger a larger platform, yeah, it's this is knowledge that can shape us. It can redefine us, you know. And sometimes, in order for in order for someone to know where they are going, they have to go back from where they came from, you know. Sankofa, if I may say that way, Sankofa. Well, the, and this awakening, I keep telling Banabeto, is multifaceted because to each is given a light. You remember like the parable of the virgins. You know, yes. they all don't need a lamp. You just need one lamp to illuminate. But each is given their light and each is given their light to cherish and to take care of. To some, more knowledge is given to, than to others. And the discretion yeah. is given to them to exercise so that in the dissemination of this knowledge, they do not cause confusion because too much of anything is poisonous, my king. Thanks. You know, I have been on this, I have been on this journey, and it's it's yeah. amazing that I have been allowed to document this journey, my growth. So that it may be my gift to my people. Because we are one. And you can see this awakening is not discriminating. Some will shy off chemeticism, but they are speaking the same thing. True. Because what most True. don't understand is that the knowledge that was taken from sub-Sahara is what is recorded in Egypt. Those principles, basic principles of life that we incorporated in the culture. That is why the Mundele could not understand this. They live a simple life, but they are very powerful. So he sent his missionaries. He sent his explorers who embedded themselves among the people and they got to learn their ways. in the name of recording history. Yes. That is how they took down the they Shaka. That is how they took down the mountain region, which they could not even access. Yes, so even, there were even some records that when they came, when the missionary came, they saw one or two of us flying. They, some, they saw some flying. They, some, they saw some teleporting. And, and 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 this stuff so i mean like it's amazing to hear these these hidden hidden knowledge you know 
records of truth and so to and, speak, and you, know? you see most most come to believe it is the fiction but these people have been telling you who you are all along because the truth the truth does not need defending and if you if you watch this video and at some point you're standing in judgment that is your ego responding and you need to humble yourself only the creator knows the vessel and the capacity it can carry and do you know the beauty about our father he uses those that don't expect he uses the foolish things of life yeah. because this is what the, the knowledge is there the knowledge is there but knowledge without understanding is just history and that is why salomon asked for wisdom he had the knowledge but he needed the wisdom to understand the esotericism of it and everything that is why he was able to manipulate the elements the spirits and the energies in this realm that is spirituality there is the essence of the spirit the ritual and the duality the physical realm and the spiritual realm so it has been an honor having you my king i uh, i know you've had a long day it's uh, also getting late on this end yes i i did yes i did have a long day. but i mean i mean but my brother you could be again it's a privilege for me to to embark on this journey with you it's a, it's a privilege for me to to learn from you to be to be sharpened to be corrected by you and as you said each one teach one you know and you are a great representative of a brother's keeper and may the most tight tatan and zambi continue to guide you on your chosen journey that's what you are meant to do for the great divine and may we all keep growing spiritually in that high resonance of awareness and the observant of 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 mahat and everything that is, is that is comedic and right you know says again it's a privilege for me to be on your show i hope i can be on your show again some other time for me to discuss some other some other more esoteric bakungo african knowledge you know i'm presently right now i'm actually learning some some african languages right now so bye bye you know yeah, so it's, it's, it's good it's good it's good it's good i mean the journey the journey to the journey for for one to be to be spiritual it's it's not easy it's a long journey you know and there are certain pro, there are certain stages and process one must go through if he or she is really want to be on that spiritual part you know and these are things that I've learned from outside now as well I've learned from you directly so again it's a privilege to be on your show I'm humbly admired admired and and, and it's really it's really it's really wonderful to be on your show so really. the privilege is mine because he gets to qualify what I am saying because if it's just that in some of these settings we cannot go into the personal and private details of your awakening some that you have shared with me and i know you have a story so of course we are going to be <laughs> having you again on the channel i know today today I was yeah. a bit light on you because i know you had um, you had explained to me your schedule and you're still trying to unwind and i yes, I, yes. I, i i guarantee you banabeto this son of muntu knows things and these things he did not learn from yakubi they were taught to him by the spirit kembo kembo tata nanzambi yamazulu kulendo so nini na nini somandla guy murumba mwenenyaga until next time dayo my betayo tayo 
spies of a nation, sounds, from a liberated Bantu. Hey, it can be Bantu. Bantu. All praises to Sir Nina Dardini. I'll hand a van of vermin to Rise of a nation, sounds, from a liberated Bantu. Hey, it can be Bantu. You take care of Bantu.